hot dogs. So the current issue of Feast is essentially a celebration of all the stuff you want to eat in the summer. Mm -hmm. And, of course, hot dogs are one of those one items. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, hot dogs, to me, are fun because it's kind of like pizza, right? I mean, you can customize it, dress it up, however it is that you want. And um, so I have a couple of places that I think are definitely worth seeking out. Have you been to Steve's Hot Dogs before? Oh, yeah. Yes. Have you been to Steve's? Um, Steve has been on the show because yes. he's in a band. Yes. He was in The Urge. Yes. Yes. You remember he him. Yeah, 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 yeah. The black yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't bring any hot dogs. Yeah, that's why we didn't <laughs> like him. Right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> Steve's Hot Dogs is awesome. Um, there are three locations. Yeah, this one, is a great story. He sort of started it on, his, on a whim kind of mm -hmm, deal. Yeah. Exactly. So first one is on the hill at 2131 Marconi. He also has a one. location by the TikTok Tavern, which is a great place to get a beer or a cocktail. It's at 3457 Magnolia. And then he also has a location inside of ITAP on Euclid at 16 Euclid Avenue. And he's known for... The quality of the dogs and also just the creativity of all the thing that, things that he's doing. So um, the one that we're highlighting in the issue, but you should, you should go because it's everything from vegan hot dogs to, you know, like pork to beef to chicken, all these different kinds of things. Um, but and a good example of a fun one that he does is the backyard barbecue dog, which is a smoked dog, mm. right, with potato salad and baked beans and barbecue sauce, right? And That's on the hot bacon. Dog. I like. Yes. Oh I like goodness. Steve. The <laughs> hot dog is merely a canvas okay. for your creativity for all of the flavors. Um, Another great place to, to try, and it's not a place, it's a truck. Um, so it can, um, if you go to their website, which is frankly sausages.com, it is frankly sausages is the name of the truck. Right. And they have two different approaches. One is the tried and true. So, for example, like a beer brat with mm -hmm. mustard and onions. Mm -hmm. um, but then they also do um, the something new. And so they have things like um, Mary's Little Lamb, which is a lamb burger with feta cheese and onion and oregano. And then they also have like a chili verde dog with pork sausage, avocado, queso fresco, cilantro and lime. Mm. Mm. Yummy that yum. sounds good. I know. It's really, I mean, I think about it. It's like the ultimate summer food because it's portable. Like you just yeah. go up, walk up to the truck, right. grab a dog and, and then wander in. around the park or right. like sit somewhere. It's just wonderful. Um, obviously Woofies is a classic. If you want a great Chicago dog, it's a drive through mm -hmm. that is located at 1919 Woodson road. It is so cute. It's like painted yellow and orange. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. And then one that I really love is dirty dogs. Have you ever been there with a Z? Oh. <laughs> Where's dirty? Well, dogs? how often do you go to Home Depot? Oh yes, there's the hot dog stand. Oh, in the, there. the hot dog yeah. stands in Home Depot. Exactly. Yes. yes. So there are three locations: it's South County, Brentwood, and Sunset Hills, and they have like 200 condiments. And like all these fun ways. But I didn't know that was a restaurant. I just thought that was Home Depot. No. It's a, that's a guy yeah. who rents the space or something. Like it, yeah. I think it launched in like 2005 or something like that. Oh, but it, I, I mean, like one. when you're in the checkout lane at one of these Home Depots, those you are, can smell yes. the dogs. Those are great hot dogs. They they're are. great. Yeah. They're great. And they're classic. Like where you're talking about Steve's or frankly sausages where it's more artisanal, yeah. more craft. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're looking for just a hot dog, mm -hmm. then like Woofies or Dirty Dogs, yeah. that's the place to go. Uh, can I throw out my own hot dog, yeah. Fair Sand? Mm -hmm. uh, Stuart Rosenblum at the ballpark. Yeah. Kosher I'm dogs. going to the game tonight. Kosher hot dogs. Right behind, I'll text you. It's like right behind home plate. Okay. Kosher hot dogs right there. Kosher hot dogs are the best. Okay. I, I don't know what they do to them, or I don't know what they don't do them, or whatever, but kosher hot dogs. Check out the kosher hot dog stand at Push Daily. I will. Tonight. I will go there tonight. All right. Good. Uh, That's why I'm wearing red. Ish. That's orange-ish. Well, it, are, you, are you wearing that to the game? You're gonna wear this all day? Yes. All right. I must admit, McGraw's kind of right. Plan. It is more kind of red. -orange. I know, but I don't own a lot of red, so <laughs> this <laughs> is my attempt right. at being. You look nice and cool and thank you. Summery. Thank right. you. It's very cute. Let's talk snow cones. <laughs> what do you got, snow cones? All right. So snow cones. 
Um, number one, we did a fantastic feature on the Rio Syrup Company. Heather Risky, who is our digital editor, she not only is very uh, skilled at social media, she also is a really great writer, and she developed this feature. So the Rio Syrup Company is based here in St. Louis. It is the Tomber family, and um, they have been making Rio Syrup here for um, multiple generations. You're telling me that this is the syrup that flavors snow cones around the world everywhere <laughs> who knew no no i mean really it's yeah. like if you have a snow cone in la or in you know boston right it you're is. probably having a snow cone with rio syrup on top of it <laughs> made here in st louis made here in st louis okay. and a lot of folks just don't even realize that this company is based here but it is right. and i mean not every snow cone stand says that they feature right, sure. rio syrup right. but I mean, if you look, you'll see. Right. So anyway, we have this really fantastic feature um, that Heather wrote. But um, I have to give also a shout out to one of her very favorite places to get the snow cone. She was she loves snow cones. Mm. So have you been to Tropical Moose, also known as Tromo? No. No. Haven't been to Tropical Moose. Are you a fan of the snow cone? Shave ice, shaved yeah, ice, snowballs? Yeah, I've been to one that sells alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> snow cones. I, you know I you're on the radio. Yeah, I know. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> back up a second. Where is Tromo? Okay, so Tromo has three locations, but the one that you're probably most familiar with is in Kirkwood at, at 150 East Argonne. And so that you can get like free nerds or sprinkles on your snow cone. And actually, please let me correct myself. At Tromo, it is technically shave ice. I was going to ask you, what's the difference between a snow cone and shaved ice? Mm -hmm. Or shave ice. Oh. It is the, uh, the way that the ice itself is shaved. So Tromo specifically is Hawaiian style, which means it's, oh, it's like it's feather light, the way that it's I like shaved. That kind. So right. like true snow. Yeah. And they like import their little feather or uh, uh, floral shaped cups from Oahu. And they do all fun stuff like their Hawaiian delight, I think is what they call it. Um, they have uh, ice cream on the bottom and then the shave ice on the top with whatever syrup you want. And they have like 50 different flavors of syrup, so right. I'm not going to list them all. But um, and then they also have uh, doggy treats that are shave ice doggy th treat things. Like liver flavor yes. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think that that is something that obviously you should take your dogs to. Yes. Um, yeah. So That's it's a, a taste of summer. So Tromo, Tropical Moose, Shave Ice is where you should be going. Um, and there are a number of other uh, snow cone stands around. And right. they're just fun little seasonal spots. We have lists of them on mm -hmm. feastmagazine.com. Um, but yes, so snow, hot dogs, snow, snow, cone snow cones. Snow syrup around the world is made right here. That's really that something. Is Doesn't really... that blow your mind? Yeah. Yeah, that's like that's, that's like St. Louis connection. That's like I know. when I learned all the mothballs in the world are made right here in St. Louis. What? what? Yeah. By what company? Willet Home Products, right there really? in um, the Shaw neighborhood. Willet Home Products, right behind St. Louis University Hospital. What is the what is it? What's the stuff that you put on mothballs? I don't. What does that smell from? I don't know. But don't know. the all the worlds he has, they've cornered the mothball world, sort of like the the syrup in you know if Isn't if it you're amazing if to you're find buying out mothballs in Florida, chances are it's from Willet Home Products right here in St. Louis. That's awesome. I love finding I these companies that you never knew were based in St. <clears throat> Louis, but they make something that's like ubiquitous. If you mm -hmm. you know where the old uh, what was it? Uh, King Louis down there. Oh sure, yeah. Oh, so I it was that King road. Louis. Oh, I know exactly where that is. Yes, it's got a weird. It's got a weird mothball. Yes, like, and like wall. butterflies and stuff. That's Will at Home products. Oh my gosh! All right. And that's where the, all the mothballs in the world are made right here in St. Louis. Well. Thank you, Crazy. McGraw. I have learned something today. See, there you go. <laughs> Which uh, normally she doesn't from us. Normally I'm annoyed with you. Today I'm not so annoyed as normal. Uh, what, uh, Feast Magazine, anything new? Yes, we are sponsoring for the sixth year in a row, seventh year in a row, um, the Tomato Explosion, mm. which, uh, which is benefits happening in my, Operation Food Search. Which is in my garden right now because my tomatoes are Will you please bring some? They're Share not ready tomatoes. yet. They're, they're still cooking. What about, I want some green ones. And, and I got Corn. I've got like oh. seven or eight years of corn working. When are you gonna have a barbecue? Are those gonna be ready this year? The corn. The corn should be ready at some point. What what variety? I got well sweet corn. Mm. I'm Just not, plain old yeah, yellow. I'm, yeah, I, or brown or, or whitish. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not planning on feeding the cows. I'm planning on feeding the humans. <laughs> but um, I, 
I got good to know. Yeah, I got po- potatoes coming up. Oh, awesome! I got green peppers and red peppers oh. and corn and the tomatoes are. I mean, how do you keep the bunnies and the squirrels out? I Molly gives them a. Oh, you your dog yeah. gives them a stern look. Uh, Cottleville, we, we we pass a law. No no bunnies or <laughs> no deer bunnies or, in Cottleville. We just pass a law. No bunnies sure. allowed. Okay, and there you go. Uh, back to feast. Oh yeah. So I mean, we're sponsoring the tomato explosion. Mm-hmm. You can visit McGraw, or yes. you can go to um, <laughs> 80 plus restaurants around the St. Louis area. They each make, and this is what they do every year. They each make a tomato themed dish, which is specific to this promotion. It lasts the entire month of July, Got and it. a portion of the proceeds from the sale of that particular dish goes to Operation Food Search, oh, perfect. which feeds the hungry throughout the St. Louis region. It's a fantastic um, hunger relief organization. Nonprofit, and we're very proud to be able to support it. So, if you go to feastmagazine.com, there's an entire list of everywhere that you can go um, to eat one of these yummy tomato dishes. So, I mean, all you have to do is order this dish and you support the organization. You're off and running. Cat yep. Nell with Feast Magazine. Have yourself a good uh, time at the game tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget uh, Stewart's hot dog stand. I right won't there forget it. Kosher dogs. Right behind the home plate. Hey. 847, Big 550.